So we're going to Michael's hometown today and we might get to have a treat and stop off at Ikea. We don't have an Ikea in Nashville, so it is a nice little treat when we can go to the one in Memphis. I don't need anything, but you know, I just wanna look. So, let's see. Let me show you what we got. We got the martini glasses, tea light candles, small candles, the 100 napkins, and then two of the vases. And then I got another Ikea bag because these come in handy at all times. Just out looking for some land for Michael. How you feel, babe? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I can find better. Oh, okay. It's a great price, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can find better. I think it's great potential. But he wants better. Okay. About to create this mimosa for TikTok. I hope it comes out good and tastes yummy. I really want a mimosa. It's strong. It's the vodka. If you don't want it too strong, I wouldn't put the vodka in it. The vodka definitely gives it a little woo, kick. It is time to tackle this studio slash storage room. It's really a storage room. It's not a studio yet. I don't even know if it's gonna turn into a studio because there's just too much stuff that I need a storage unit for. It's a hot mess and when you see it, it's gonna look like I'm trifling, but I'm really not. It's just that I have to pull things in and out of bins and then I just don't put it back the same day or the next day because I have to make sure things are cleaned out, dried. And so I always designate a day to do that. And today's the day, three weeks later. So not a big deal. We haven't had anybody over, so it's okay. So let's get cleaning, but to put on something to watch just to be in the back. all done everything is in its proper bin and it's not super super organized but everything has its bin and all I care about is that there's open floor to work so everything is in bins put away and just ready for the next project which will start next week and then the table and chairs they go into the attic area um, I don't go in there Sometimes I do, sometimes I'm brave and I go in there, but we're not going in there today. I've been booking one of my clients honeymoon. Um, they're looking to go to Jamaica. That's another thing I do for my clients. I offer a honeymoon package, which I book their book their honeymoon as part of like their wedding package. Still, so I also book Michael and I's trip um, as well. So I, I have that going too, so we can start making payments on that and have it paid for by the time we go on the trip. That's another thing. So if you're working with a travel agent, what I like about that is that you can go ahead and start making payments on your trip. So you're not like paying everything up front. If you want to, okay, 
cool, go for it. Um, but if you want to go ahead and you know that you're going, you know that you're going July 12th. So why not go ahead and set up everything so therefore you can make payments each month or whenever you want to. You can add, you can pay whatever you want to. Um, and knock it out by the time you go on your trip and so you don't have to worry about it and you don't have to worry about like oh my gosh do i have you know the the sixteen hundred dollars right now you don't have to worry about that you can just make your payments so and have like a good time like don't let this world fool you into thinking that you can't travel don't do that i used to think that i used to think like oh no i can't do this because because it costs too much but it's set up Nowadays, it's set up to where you can do it. Here are the two giveaway items that I have for you. So one person will get this side and it's gonna be a hubby and wife coffee mug, the just married knee tube socks, the honeymoon beach tote, two, blendy, two beauty blenders, exfoliating gloves, that is gonna be a head wrap to like do your facials, you know, pull your hair out your way while you're doing your makeup, and then a face mask. So that is for one person. And then the other giveaway winner will win the Happily Ever Beach Hat, the Passport, um, the Door Knocker, and then that is the Phone Protective Bag, a Bride Koozie, a face mask, and a head wrap to pull your hair back. So one person will win this and then the next person will win that make sure that you follow all the rules and that even if you're not getting married that these are great gifts yo thank you so much for helping me reach 200 subscribers <laughs> so like that makes me so happy that there's 200 people out there who are tuning in and watching my videos and just being there and hopefully we will continue to grow but I am celebrating all the little things in life this year, all the small things. So 200 subscribers may not be big to you. It is gigantic to me. And so I just want to give back and thank you so much for watching, tuning in, liking, and subscribing and being there for me. So I appreciate that so much. There's a chance for two subscribers to win this giveaway. And the rules are to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you are following me over on Instagram. And then on this video, leave a comment saying anything, it could be emoji or anything, and make sure that you also leave your Instagram handle so therefore I can go back and cross check and make sure that you meet all the criteria to win this giveaway. Is she supposed to be in there? It's for kids. getting ready to just do an under eye mask and wax my legs. Well, do a complete wax. I bought an in-home waxing kit. I've never done it before, so I have no idea. Um, I just wanted to save money. I feel like the kit was $30 and you know, getting a wax is about 50, right? Yeah. And then, so I figured I'd just do it myself, you know? I've seen it done a few times, so why not go for it, right? <laughs> so hopefully it goes well. And I actually never waxed my legs before, but when you have a kid at home, why not just wax your legs and your armpits, you know? I got the shower so I didn't put any lotion or Vaseline on, so there's no oil. I exfoliate it and... Let's see how it goes. This is how the kit looks. Got it off of Amazon, of course. 
So this is the wax, it's done melting. The kit it comes with is pink beads and the blue beads. I've never seen the pink beads, but I think it's set for coarse hair. Um, I've always seen the blue wax, so um, pink uh, blue beads it is. And a pre wax treatment, and this is just supposed to like get off um, any traces of oil and makeup. Um, but like I said, I just got out the shower, so I didn't put anything on, so I need to do that. And then this is an after wax treatment. No, 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 no. And home waxing is not for me, not at this moment. I have watched an episode and a half of Marriage or Mortgage and <laughs> just like freaking out because, you know, first off, I didn't even realize I was putting the wax on wrong on my legs. I, I was supposed to go from top to bottom instead of from bottom to up, but whatever. Watch YouTube videos, it was doing it wrong. So I had to fix that. Then I decided like, hmm, let me let me continue to practice. Let me do my armpits. I couldn't build up enough courage or strength to like pull it off myself. So Michael had to like pull him off, but he was having too much fun. Um, and then while he was doing that, I decided that mm, I'm gonna start my um, bikini area, which, which I was gonna do a full Brazilian. I had it done only twice in my lifetime and it actually wasn't that bad I guess because I prepared my head that and I heard stories that it hurt real bad so I was okay so I thought because it wasn't that bad when I got it done that I could do it myself and mm -mm, no no I couldn't do it myself um it's it sat on there for a whole episode and like I couldn't eat, I couldn't build up the strength to rip it off so I decided to torture myself and peel it off, which was so painful. So at least I got the bikini area done. Um, <laughs> what, what was I thinking? Like, no, I'm shaving up until I have to go on a trip and then I'll go get, go get it cleaned up. If, if that, never again. Well, I'm gonna practice. I'll practice after I really like educate myself. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this will be easy. No big deal. This is how you do it, rip it off. But it's like hurting yourself, you, you just can't do it. Like I need someone else to rip it off for me instead of me like trying to hurt myself. I can't do it. So it was a fail. Maybe in a few months we'll We'll do it again, but mm -mm. no, 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 no. Woo, hurt. <laughs>